it's been a great while. We call those a fat minute in uh, America. No, it's been a fat minute with a P and a H. Yeah, fat minute. So, uh, who feels like giving us a recap? Who, who, uh, can, who can remember? I, think I could give you a recap, but it would be the shortest and probably the most inaccurate recap of anybody here. It's Renard good, I said, could do it. Renard said, Tell me how I'm supposed to live with no air. No air, no ass. <laughs> so, we picked off at the start of last session all sort of surrounding the body of Renard, our fallen comrade and personal hero to many of us. Uh, Exodus felt some strange connection to the tower and decided to sleep inside of it while the others took the body outside to rest for the, the night. In the morning, uh, our group set off to the Silver Nasty Elves I, I knew Scott was going to smile at that one. <laughs> we, we go to see if they have any clerical texts. Maybe some bardic magic. <laughs> Just joking on that one. Uh, something that could maybe bring Renard back to life after hours. Oh, wait. We made an agreement to go to the city of blank... Scottish, what is the city again? The city of, like, death? The death god city? Oh, you said you could do a pretty good recap. You're forgetting things. All right, so we go, we, go to, we go to death god city, right? We had to reclaim the silver nasty stuff. And in return, we get to look through the archives to see if we can find anything. All of us pass the fuck out besides the, the goat Clifford. Cl Clinton? Clifton. Clifton. Yeah. Yep. And he found it. A scroll of resurrection? Raise that. A true resurrection? One of those two. Raise that, sorry. A scroll of raise that. Taking that scroll, we book ass back to camp. Hold on. Thinking. Thinking. On our way back to camp, we rest for the night. Maybe resting. No, we rest with the camp, but we get attacked by uh, dragon things. Those monsters. The uh, <clears throat> yeah, that actually. Now that I think about it, that might have happened on the way to the Silver Nasty Elves <laughs> and not after the Silver <laughs> Nasty Elves. But either way. We get back to the tent and surrounded in the camp by the army, and we ended that session surrounding Renard's body, scroll in Clifton's hand as we uh, hang on to all of our hopes and dreams that Renard will be brought back to life. Yeah, there's some fuzz there, I'll be honest. Uh, you were saying about one city. I thought you meant the main city that you've been going to all this time and not the other one, so that is on me. Um... You can tell when I just throw shit at the wall and see what sticks, because I forget. <laughs> but. That's city. As it was. Oh, I'm going to play Melon all this session. Ah! I mean, yay! Uh, fucking sorcerers. Fucking. Mm hmm. Sorcerers. Yeah. Eels. You are in the yes. tent, as it stands. The wind blowing, howling, rips and tears on the <clears throat> on the tent. Wind blustering. You see the scroll slowly starts burning away on edges. Clifton. What are you doing? Is everyone is aiding you with a spell? Uh, I am open, praying, shitting, pooping, pardon. All the good shit. All that good shit. Renard. 
Yo, I'm dead. It's dark, cold, and where you are, there is pain. All right. You are in pain. Everyone around is in pain. The slightest movements even hurt. You know that someone somewhere or something is taking pleasure in this. As you are torn asunder and rebuilt in odd configurations to almost like the pleasure of a child ripping apart a Barbie doll and placing the leg where the arm once was. Is it where you feel this wash, a light, is it where a, a warmth, is it where you hear this one violent <laughs> as the dark becomes light and you as the wind stops the tents flutter down and you lie on a table in the middle of a desert surrounded by Numerous troops and an all too familiar armor. The Calaman Army armor. Clifton rolled a twenty one on a DC of fifteen. Yeah. Hey -yo. Hey -yo. It's alive. <laughs> I can take the control of the Darit token off you. Uh, Darit High Water, configure ownership. Remove. And then hopefully I didn't move the Renard token. I am an American. I don't want to say that. I want to say that Exus uses the sky self immediately to give himself a giant beer that somehow goes through his mask <laughs> and <laughs> approaches Renard. <clears throat> this is our here. Renard dead for. What felt like an eternity to him, for years, less than a week. As you watch as Renard is there, you see this almost streak of pure shocked white through the side of his hair. A brush with death a bit too close. What are the rest of us doing? Nah. Let's I see. am staring mouth agape at my success, thinking, oh my fucking god, I am the shit. Well, not, not fully, you know, since I had to use a scroll, but I am pretty damn good at this lyric shit, I'll tell you what. It's so often a little <laughs> silent prayer to the god that I never really got to talk to. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I, I, I personally want to see if I can make this uh, t two two out of two. <laughs> uh, right Aza's down. Yeah, Aza's gonna not jump on top of Renard, but hug him really like a little bit too hard. Revel not being that long into the party is not going to have that extreme of a response to her coming back. Uh, but she she is going to be in shock because clerics have been gone for a while and seeing a person 
coming back from the dead is pretty much unheard of. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, Renard looks uh, confused and shocked and almost. Oh God, there know, it is. There's the fucking beast. Kind of, that's whoever's hugging him on the back, like with oh, one hand, like big. just confused, oh, you know, bigger. looking around like, where the hell am I? Because uh, where he just was was not this. Yeah. Get up, you all watch as like every guard surrounding this tent. The serial seem to. This all seems like this odd step back is morbid curiosity with seeing if this worked. And all of a sudden, every choice that every person here has made seems to be. Questioned, if you will. <clears throat> He's gonna watch as some people try to slink away, others seem to stagger back in disbelief. But you can tell that within the Kalaman guards, this army, there is a renewed faith. Many people didn't believe it could happen. And now it's happened. And dead brought back. As the <clears throat> sand, dust and dirt seems to fall by the wayside and calm down. Still a nice enough looking day. Clifton. What did you say you wanted to do again? Sorry. Um, yeah, I was not expecting that much of my shit to get rocked. Um, anyway, what would what, what, what you guys say to, uh, to two out of two? Two out of two, bring me a body up. It looks like I got something going on here. <laughs> <laughs> than the evangelical standing there with the microphone. <laughs> no, no. I've caught the Holy Spirit! Oh, watch me work! Watch the Lord work through me! <laughs> <laughs> we don't have them in the UK, but I wish we did. It's fucking funny as shit to watch, especially people's impressions. <laughs> Oh, but <clears throat> since we're lying <clears throat> on the table next to you, between Renard and you, is another body, body of an Aladrin male, unknown to you, but known to everyone else in the party, and rather chilly room. You can tell that this guy's been left on ice for a bit. No pun intended. Mm. Is this the body you wish to make your second attempt upon? Um, I'm looking at the party for confirmation because I don't know this dude from paint. I'm sorry, who? A body of an Aladrin male. Technically I'd be calling an SDL, health, but we'll call him an Aladrin male this time. Lying in the same tent as Renard. Known to everyone else, technically bar you, because, you know, you never met him. And by Clifford's only technically three people in this room, including Darrett. It's Spain, right? Yes. Ah. Uh, I don't know if it could have been that other guy. I don't really like that other guy. No, just... He's gone. He drowned at sea. Oh. oh no one uh, cared. There was a Kraken attack, and he got really wide, and you, we all know he couldn't. He couldn't hit the side of a barn with a shotgun at five foot. Uh, he looks to princesses. Do you think you could? Well, uh, I have about as much of a chance of doing it as any other. Um, and I think uh, as long as you guys help me, I think I have a good chance. 
Are we Thank all you. prepared for that? Uh, let me see. Because I know I can give him a reroll. Oh my god, you're lovely. You're wonderful. You're beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, you're Thank welcome. You. Thank you. Huh? However, Jalen, I'm in a committed relationship, so it's just not going to happen. Two dollars went up. What's the relationship with all those guys from life? Is it? Yeah, I got it. Damn. Yeah, so, I mean... Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> damn, how damn. How about that? Appreciate you. My little sister gave me... Three WF Crisp, um, world's finest chocolate bars. Love whenever they. I don't know what that is, but congratulations. You don't know what the little chocolate bars are that they sell, RJ. We sold them. I heard chocolate. Oh, you mean the shit that they had to sell in school? Yeah. Yeah, I never sold those. Uh, I just, I just bought them off of kids. I'm over here peddling chocolate bars, bro. Uh You know how many chocolate bars I sold? Oh, Let me know for about zero the, boxes and uh, z- z- zero more bars of that, uh, yeah. The, the the white background with the black text and the blue sides? Yeah. Uh, this is shit we never did. This is... Oh. Yeah, school's it's a pyramid America scheme. Yeah, themselves. 100%. It's a, it's, yeah. It's a pyramid scheme. Yeah, he just watches... Melanor places a hand on Clifton, he watches the hand kind of brightens once more. You know this is that little spell that she's got that makes things just that little bit more lucky on your side. Guidance. Thank you, Melano. She looks at you and goes, Darn it, you're gonna need it, buddy. <laughs> she's, she's now uh, from the Appalachian region. <laughs> I thought that was southern. I like how, like, that Appalachian made these... regions in Kentucky, that's southern. Oh, like, Appalachian uh, not the... Appalachian, I assumed it was like the Alps in Europe. No, no, no. Uh, just, uh, well, Alpine. Appalachian, uh, um, yeah, just the U.S. mountain range that isn't the Rockies. The one by the East Coast. The other one? The other one. The one that people don't like to speak of, the inhabitants. The hillbillies. They're all hillbillies. RJ, for this, you're going to have to log in, friendo. Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, I can do that quickly. Yeah, yep. um, I, I don't see any reason why I have to encounter that disgusting monster right, to, right this minute. Okay, take a break. Take a kick. Um, open up. Store pages. <clears throat> no, I don't want to do that. Opening up. Once he's in, he can start making his relevant rolls. Oh, goodness gracious, sir. Nervous. You know, all about between this and the game, and that fucking uh, uh, that fucking spicy food I had earlier, it's not sitting well in my stomach. I'll tell you that much. Am I? Uh, yeah. I, I was I was waiting for you to grab the inspiration for the the song, but then you didn't. So I was like, okay, I gotta I gotta grab this shit. Okay. RJ is also Lovely. the one that pointed out that I have a skillet tattoo as well. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> I forgot that, but yeah. Okay, let me go ahead and make Please. that roll. So, I what am I rolling? So, <clears throat> so far you have guidance. So, right, so, that's a... so for you right now, 1d20 plus 6 plus 1d4, make that, you'd make that a blind GM roll. However, okay. I don't know if anyone else is doing anything else or adding anything else whilst we're here. Uh, uh, add anything to add. Plus, plus six, plus, plus six, plus one d four. The the help action is an addition. Remember that. <laughs> okay. I think bless maybe if you have bless for <laughs> Bless is for saving throws. Uh, saving throws, attack rolls are saving throws. Yeah, okay, so 1d20 plus is, 6. Hold on, this is technically an ability check. So, oh, Renard, you're still technically dead. Fuck, okay. you should have one hit point now. Not zero. 1d20 plus 6 plus 1. 
1d20 plus 6 plus 1d4. However, we're seeing if there's okay. anything else that anyone's done beforehand. I mean, well, good idea if there was. And they. And if it all fails, we have yeah. time rewind. Um, so, that's so it's like the role that you are doing. Blindly brave. So. All right. I think this feels good. The DC in this one is higher. Mm. You, that was not good. How do you how do you start prepping this spell? So, you know, as you would any uh, stop stop calling me. I do what any good priest would do. I uh, put on some very white, bring out the scent of the candles. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Regular candles, no very white. Um. I start, uh, I can't really do a prayer chant, I don't really know any, but I'm going to, like, make one up on the spot, anything that seems holy, and, you know, make sure the body is clean and whole, and that I'm going to, you know, get ready to lay my hands upon his chest and his abdomen, and I'm going to just squeeze my eye really hard. Yeah. So you place your hands on his chest, start... Chanting your prayer with the spell scroll in hand as well as you're reading out through it. You watch as the scroll starts to ignite and alight. Do you want to make that roll of a 1d20 plus 4 plus... A 1d20 plus 6 plus 1d4. As you start chanting through singing songs, you watch as the scroll... Psst, Expand. There's one spore. Boom. The winds pick up. The tent at this point. Home away you stand in the heat of the desert. Sun bearing down. Winds whipping up. As it does. Yourself. Left in time. It seems to. Slow. Right down. As it does. The dog has zoomies. <laughs> As it does, you feel a odd warmth. Not from the sun, from something else. Do you hear a voice? They believe. As you look round, the voice comes from <coughs> everywhere. Nowhere. <coughs> so you feel this burning in your chest. It does time seems to start. Picking up and speeding once more, as you hear. <laughs> Thank you. There's this beam of light, seems to just boom. <laughs> <laughs> On a fane's body, as it does, you watch it, it seems to lift almost off the table. As it does, you watch as this odd pattern seems to come up and round the body of fane, round his arms, up his neck, on the back of his head. <laughs> As it does, the body seems to drop. Finn. Uh. Do you feel this pull? As you look round, you see everyone nodding as you fall through this white, staring from the white to black to darkness to blue before you feel nothing but pain in your back followed by this thud you see looming over your body this gaunt brown haired man and you hear a familiar voice one you've not heard in quite some time He's... He's 
done it again. <laughs> I'm just gonna look around. You see an old friend, Darit, trembling in disbelief. He's elated. He's happy. He's excited. He's scared as you watch as all manner of emotions seem to come over him. As it were, you just watch as the body seems to have underwent some odd transformation. He never had these distinct marks when he left. He's watched it happen and now, now two for two, the dead has risen here in the northern wastes. you the man. <laughs> what was that? Fuck, 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 fuck. You died <laughs> and then you got better again. Uh huh. I what? Died. Hi, buddy. How you hey. feeling? Not gonna sue Fighting me, are that. you? Everything's okay? Fang kinda... holds his head for a second. Ah. Uh, God. I remember watching you guys. Oh. Where are we now? When did Fane Northern Waste? The what? Did I get that name right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did I just hear John say who's Fane? <laughs> no, I said, when did he die again? Oh, it's been a long time. Oh, he died back when. We were uh, watching outposts. We, 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 yeah, we were doing all those outposts. Oh, yeah. oh gotta be right back, but. Yep. Oh, he did, I can't yeah. miss this fuck. He hung out downstairs at that tower and got destroyed. Even though he had the mobile feet and all he had to do was punch and move. And he would not get opportunity of attack. Well, that's mm -hmm. what happens. Yeah, it happens. She's all... She's... Well, who actually does see, I wonder? I need to go to a scene where I've got everyone's tokens so I can see who can see what's going on as I see. Uh, Clifton. Yeah. And all of this elated love that's going on. Everyone basking in what is essentially your glory. You also seem to notice as Revel seems to just blend into the crowd. Now, I will point out for both of thou who art resurrected, you have a negative four to all checks made. Then after a long rest, negative three, then negative two, then negative one. So, and five long rest time, you'll be good. Until then, I'm doing a lot of mental math. Oh. Alright. And then main negative four two rolls. Let's use all we seem to watch as this happened, and as the dust and such kicks down, you can watch his dart looks round, and as he does. So, um, mm. where, where to next? He's gonna look at his. There is a stunned disbelief as to what came about, but a man of the mission first, following orders. 
Christ. I believe it is also like 9 a.m. So it's everyone's choice what goes on here. And I say everyone, there's three of us. <clears throat> Bernard's still suspend. Feeling extremely weak. He's sitting on the head of the cot with his head in his hands. Kind of shaking his head back and forth. And still in disbelief and confusion. Not speaking. Oh, I am. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna eat. But this is probably taking a lot out of me. I'm not really sure. But we're level six now. I need to level up. Oh, um, we are. Shit. No, actually, I don't think you're level six. Level um, seven, I Yeah, everyone else is level seven. So you um, go ahead and smash yourself to level seven. The same as yourself, Renard. You are also. Full level seven. I'm still amazed as to how Melano has more hit points than Bernard. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah. That's... That fucking scales me, mate. <laughs> okay, no. but I've removed the negative fifteen HP modifier to your max. Um, I put you at full health. You shouldn't be full health. You should be one health. I think. I believe you're one until you rest. That's how resurrection works. That's how raised dead works. What do we, what do we, what do we, what do we wish to be doing with the rest of our days? Um, who? Not quite sure. Um, I mean, fuck, what, what is there to do? Rather, what is there that is, uh, should be on a agenda or to do this for us people? Exodus expresses a interest to return to Walking wreath. Walking um, wreath. The uh, the place where you died. Oh. <laughs> that was like a great fun time. <laughs> Two thumbs up. Does anybody have any idea what else they wish to be doing at this moment in time? Oh mm. uh, no! No, I'm 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 good. Thank you. So, uh, um, actually, what kind of area are we in right now? The desert. Desert. Okay. Um, no way I could really forage. Is there? Mm, nothing particularly abundant in that regard. It is the it's the ruins of a, literally a cataclysmic event, so nothing really seems to be growing there. Does that makes sense. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that definitely makes sense. Sure. There we go. Your sheet there, Monfrey, is done. That's right. Only ever your character I have issues with. Oh, the challenge is hard. Okay. I understand. What? No, he, I, I didn't understand something somebody was saying. Oh! Oh, I did it! No. Right. I was on my last life, but I did it. I killed the filthy beast. Now, now it's D&D time. I got ownership. And Jalen, you know, ownership of this fane. I'm going to delete this fane, put him back there. It's like, you never knew he vanished. So, he's all going to look around in the wastes. The army all seem to be meandering too. Miracles have happened in front of them. I believe in miracles. Dark. The 21st of September. Dark Alex over. The. Where to now? It's. 
what's the plan? Given that... Given that everyone's back... Are we doing what the elves wanted, or are we... Oh yeah, we, we do have to fucking uh, do what the elves wanted. We did promise them. Oh yeah, no. Did we? What? So we essentially, trying? um, in return for that scroll, um, we promised them to essentially uh, loot loot back some stolen item that were looted from them, uh, ethnic items. Okay, where where is this? Oh, um, Scottish. Could you remind me, please? Uh, I believe the Eastern Maze. I'm just checking my notes. Yes, the Eastern Maze. Eastern Maze. <clears throat> Oh no, please don't click by all means. Boom boom boom. We could do that or we could just move on. Uh we could go back to where Exodus wanted, or... <laughs> I, I personally don't know, I... I was only oh. here for <laughs> the briefest of this. I don't know what your plans were before your... Demise? Resurrection? <laughs> Given your word, we need to keep the, keep your word. I don't have the details of the exchange or agreement, but is that we have a destination, and, the, and that can be coincide with our your desired destination. Maybe we can kill two birds with one stone, but definitely have to keep our word to the elves. And is that part of the measure? Absolutely. Part of the oath. My honor is my life. Keep your word, you keep it. Then I guess we're going to where they want it? Yes, indeed. I know they're at another side trip, it appears. No, it's more the confusion of it all, really. It's still, still confused as to how all this works. We carried you from there to here. And now you're back. Yes, miracles do happen, but to what end now? What do the gods want in return? Well, my last recollection, I thought I knew. I went to a new reality and confusion. And I'm not sure I understand their plan or design. Well, at any rate, I'll, I'll, mo I'll mobilize everyone for when you are ready. Uh, yes. In our, our stance to claw the shape hands with Barrett and gets a little lightheaded and has to sit back down. Maybe we'll take it slow for today. 
I don't see how. I apologize. I'm just. I feel a little off. Oh yeah, I, 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 we really don't want to stress you after you know you've been through so much, like at all. Like, uh, do you want to perhaps take it a bit easy for a few days? I'm sure they will understand postponing. As strange as it seems that I've been asleep to you for a couple of days, I think I need some rest. Um, that sounds about right. Good old um, rest. Rest and Anything else I can get you as your uh, medic? Uh, not right now. Uh, thank you. All right. No problem. Uh, you Just let me know. Literally, owe oh, you my life. I understand. <laughs> as I understand it. Yeah. You may owe me your life, but I don't want anything screwing itself up and uh, going back, you know, the way things were. So, thank you for your consideration. Just let me know. So despite the fact that it's what, 9 a.m.? That's it, but I, uh, nine, nine, half nine. I don't know if we've got anything they can do, but we're I need to rest. We have leveled up, right? You what? Have we leveled up? Um, oh, no, that was just. No, they just had to level up because you did get a level up. You just got a level up for doing walking wreath. Which, uh. Yeah, it's like a real kick in the teeth. Oh, you die. Take right. a level up. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. There's a little constellation prize at the end of that. <laughs> die, yeah. manage to come back. Take a, t take a level, you know. Take a salt tablet. Take one of these and call me in the mornings and acid and some water. I was watching the fucking bear, and it took me a while to realize that on um, season two they were essentially just sharing one bottle of Pepto Bismol because they all wanted to throw up from the, all the antacid and stress they were building up. I'm yet to finish that. I'm like episode four. I love that show though. Yeah. Oh, wh wh which season? Two. Ah, uh, yeah, it kicks you in the fucking teeth, but it's wonderful. Yeah. So then it's just take the day. To recuperate, relax, and get to know what's been going on with yourselves. Night is cold. Much colder than most other nights. Someone be so kind as just to give me a quick D10 for the sake of it, out of love and consideration. As the night goes on, the day, night, dry. There's no noises, no s not really anything. The ocean comes and the ocean goes. The weight of everything that's happened seems almost unreal, to be honest. Given that, given that everything has happened, it's Bernard, for you it's a tough night, to be honest. You spend that night tossing, turning. The noises, the sounds, the hell you've been put through. Is it Slowly all seems to wash away. You hear one final crack. 
just before you wake, this this one. As it does in your mind, you see this figure. So it walks down a set of stairs, fire burning in the back, the sword almost levitating about maybe three inches from its hand, and and that's like one. A foot from its body. Ah, my arm's about the length of a foot long, right? Yeah. <laughs> but a foot from its body and three inches from its hand. And shield in the other with a yellowed skull imprinted on it. Pure black, almost obsidian like armor. And a white helmet seems to crack and. Almost lunge forward with a whoo! You can <clears throat> come to in the morning. It was a nightmare, but very real sensation. You feel you f you feel almost hunted. In comparison, for yourself, there, Fane, your night is a peaceful night, a quiet one. Nice. It's weird. You haven't dreamed, dreamt in so long, and even in a trance, you feel a bliss. It's odd, to say the least. You haven't felt in some time. Not like this. But you do have a calling. Something inside seems to call to you. Could you... <laughs> Give me a charisma or wisdom save. I'm gonna do wins. It does, it feels like something's trying to come over you. Something's trying to shift the very makeup of your mentality, but. You seem to fight that off without any issue. As it is, you spend that <laughs> night. Oh, I can't. Spend that night at rest, easily shrugging off whatever is fighting you. Clifton. Yes. You spend the day at camp, walking around as everyone seems to shoot you the odd glance here and there. Not out of spite, but out of awe. You see all manner of people. Some are scared of you and what you could do. Others... Scared of me? Oh. Others seem to have this almost weird desire to be closer to you. Some almost seem to be creating the cult of Clifton, if you will. <laughs> but Oh god. <laughs> as you lay to sleep for the night. You pass out almost instantly. As it were, you dream it's not your own. You seem to be soaring over some odd bog. You're aware of this place roughly, this rough location to the southeast. You see a huge, probably 40 foot well, 
the small building to the side. And you are brought to this building. You see a you can, uh, beautiful, beautiful statue of gold. Of a young woman. Fair. You could... One could argue the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. As you watch to see, statue seems to glow before this almost translucent visage of the statue walks forth. And as it does, it just seems to smile at you. Or it takes its hand and touches its finger to the necklace that you wear. As it does, you watch to see. Zaj seems to make its way back into the statue. Before you're peacefully removed, not violently ripped. Back through the skies, through the forest, over and under to awake in your bed the next morning. The oddest uh, sensation for you is you feel at peace with everything. Nothing. Nothing could make your day sour today. This is a calm, nice day as you awake. The sun beating down, the air arid and cold, the breath lingering in the air just a bit longer than it normally should. With it, the day is everyone's. What do we wish to be doing today? So I was when it was a good time for me to go and check out my mom really quickly. But I was also going to say before I go, I want to look off to the side, see a fucking, uh, what, a fucking, um, desert muskrat or some shit like that? I don't know. Uh, building a fucking, um, a fucking glass or dry grass nest and a helm. I'm just going to go to myself and to say to myself, nature is healing. <laughs> Like those fucking memes. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I'm feeling today. <laughs> Tumbleweed flies by. Ah, nature is healing. The tumbleweed's like that thing wasn't there a moment ago. <laughs> yeah. For a tumbleweed to exist, a plant had to exist at some point. I'm I'm obviously missing the some point part of that, but yeah. Everyone does benefit from a long rest. Just 20 right here. 30. Hmm? And then... Oh, Renard's health went mm -hmm. up. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, because you leveled up. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. All about that part. The Yarp. With it, gentle bots, the day is yours. What do we wish to be doing? Where do we wish to be going? Is the army all seem to be saddling up. Seek out Derek. It's a minute's tent, so you can move look around the encampment. You can see the door. Is that a door? Flap? Zip? Uh, Let's call it a door. The, the flappy door to his tent. It's gonna open. And his eyes. He's gonna be looking over a map of this area and just gonna plotting the where I have been, where I've not been, where I shouldn't go, where I should go, to do list type. You know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the sides are a little drawn of just like dart with like big muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest pardon for the interruption and uh, just try to catch up on what I may have missed and 
from his side and how the troops are doing. Uh, it, you really didn't miss too much, which is good, I suppose. Um, as soon as everything was cleared, they started to plot and plan and thought maybe here would be the best point. They came here parted with the elves who were all too happy to gloat that yes they were anxious to rush to their death and then you're gonna point at yourself um so yeah uh, they got a good laugh out of that one um nothing really was missed no they didn't do anything they actually just came back and down here you been gone less than a week really not even three days you've been gone it was yeah. demoralizing for everyone yes and by the oddest of coincidences your death and resurrection seems to have been better for everyone like I can't explain it but there's an air of eagerness now you were dead um yeah or reconcile, reconciling that fact and the experiences I had while I was dead with still working things out. Um, is morale okay with the troops? I know we've been doing a lot of back and forth and marching in circles. But unfortunately, I... we still don't have an idea of exactly where the city of Lost Names is and I don't know when we'll find out. I don't quite know either, but the morale is... It's something else now. They've... They're better than they were when they left. It's... It's renewed faith. Everyone now seems to... I believe the war can be won. Whilst many were just doing their job. Thinking whether they win or lose, this is what they have to do. They now have this feeling that yes, they will win. We can beat this war. Some feel almost as if the gods are on our side. And uh, again... I'm gonna sort of moving a point towards you and like the general direction where f you know the tents were thin would be what was that like <sighs> not what I expected we have indeed we discovered the gods and they are moving in the world and aiding as they can I can assure you but I have many answers, many questions, a few answers right now from here, Jolith, at least. I'm glad that the troops' morale is high and hope it voids them through the days ahead, as it may be difficult traveling, and hopefully we will soon discover where we're looking, the, the place that we're looking for. So that we can this but there's still much work to be done and I appreciate I appreciate your help and what you've done to <clears throat> your part in this all my part was just with you so I that at th th this point I'm I'm just here in case things go south and 
Let's use... No. No. What you're still looking for. You, you have an idea. We're just here in case something else happens. Such as... Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, the troop still needs you, and you're doing a fantastic job. And, uh, I in communication with you as we move, and uh, you let me know if there's anything you need from me. I will. I'll go back. This... Go back to find the others. Oops, sorry. Okay, if there's anything you need, let me know as well, please. I will, thank you. I go back to find the others. And make a plan for the day. Tepler, right on time! What did I miss, people? Literally nothing, they just took another long rest. And uh, I had to remake Fane Sheet again. For the fourth time. Fane, all my homies hate it. No, no. <laughs> Exus would have been so happy with Fane coming back. He would have <laughs> hugged him. He would have told them about the sword. They had uh, the sword that killed Fane turned into seven small children toys and given out. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> watches from your day early once again it's, you know let's just use 9 a.m is a great time <laughs> these watches renard seems to be walking back from the tents the command the tent as it were what's everyone else doing i am going through on that long rest I think you, uh, I guess I think you've already had it, but given that I just had to remake the sheet, you're actually probably looking more at certain things not being no. done. Let me check. Uh, just probably key points and stuff on here, so I was going to use a long rest. To... Yeah, I ain't seen your key points, which is just odd. Oh, there we go. Key to it. Six. Six. There we go. Full six key points there. Sire. Yep, you are maxed out on the everything. Uh Exodus would be probably following Renard and Fane. Like a like a baby animal in Minecraft. That's exactly <laughs> what he's doing. He's like, what what's the afterlife like? Is it is it cold? Is it hot? Is it sort of like this medium, like lukewarm temperature that's just perfect? Like with your wind? I got no. Um, oh, it was black for a while. And then a god spoke to me. I trained for a while. Uh. And they said I wasn't supposed to die yet, so now I'm here. You trained for a while? They had you training in the afterlife? Mm -hmm. Such is the way of a monk. He's oh. just gonna um, uh, pull down his uh, his garb a little bit and show him the, the swirling and whirling tattoo around his body. This is a blessing from... My god. Looks like a skin condition. Yeah, it's a, you know that you know that really skin good condition good. where your your skin turns a different color in like patches? Eczema? Yeah, eczema. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like eczema. <laughs> eczema no exists in track at <laughs> Eczema was always here. You thought you were safe from eczema? Nah. Forty-five cream. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, RG is still uh, assisting with his mother at the moment. So, 
So what would see? Party's plans for the day. Um, get together with the others. I said uh, agreement with the elves was to retrieve items from an, uh, somewhere. Do we have an idea of where this is? They give you directions or in a general direction where to go. I believe it was to a city linked to God of Death. Which I might have a deal with. On undisclosed terms. Uh, how we get there is I think it's those portals that we found the ruins. Uh, I think we just have to uh, fix one and then step through it. I could be wrong. Wait, no, it's to the north. That's where it is. It's to the north. It's, uh... This one here? Uh... No, no. Hmm. I wish Melano was here. She would probably know. <laughs> <laughs> where are the notes? Where are the notes? Uh, ah, good question. <laughs> Her last note was session 11. What? Ah, oh, Melano, let this stand. I, I... I've been lied to. We're on a uh, session twenty-two. Mm. Oh, I forgot what tower we have to go to, or what place we have to go to. Eastern maze. Eastern maze. Knew it. It was on the tip of my tongue, right there. Eastern maze. Where did I die? Here. Yeah. Ooh, hey, it's right on the way. Somebody wanted to go finish some unfinished business. Ah, I'm uh, <clears throat> still. You can tell that it seems that Bernard's having a really tough time concentrating. Like, not not quite the same. Me too, buddy. Me too. I apologize. I'm. Four, get back in this, but... I forget, were we supposed to do something with the ghost woman there? I forgot, were they related? Um... Fane would, <laughs> Fane would have a uh, knowledge of what's been going on, wouldn't he? Fane saw, but only ever saw. He just wasn't here. Melano will pipe in. We spoke to her, but left before we could do more because. You're gonna. Points to Renard. Yeah. Right, I was just making sure. We, we asked the. I asked the Sylvanesse the elves, and they said that. They had no idea who she was. Correct. Alright. Let's, uh... I suppose then we, we should travel. Travel. Okay, let's travel. Uh... Regular pace. I don't think I can oh, take it. You've been gone a while. We move at fast pace now. <laughs> I'll do my best to keep up. Oh, are you uh, injured in the revival of some sort? Tired? Uh, just feeling the effects, like you said. You know, all the negatives that I still have going on for a few long rests. My bone hurt. Just. I can feel the effects of rigor mortis. <laughs> Damn. For the sake of us all, uh, technically speaking, Renard, you still have the blessing. And technically speaking, because Fane is within the same... Um, because Fane will be within the same vicinity of yourselves, uh, Fane also gets that same blessing. So, yeah. 
Uh, technically, movement is unhindered. Does he get my blessing too? Uh, what blessing you on about? The haste one that I got when he died. No, no, no that's your own separate thing. Uh, almost everyone has had their own little separate thing now. Barry Melano. Okay. Melano evil. I don't remember the blessing we're talking about. It's been a little while. <laughs> Your third level magic missiles. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, if you're tired, I could summon you a horse. I thought I had summoned a horse at one point, didn't I? I think you do have summoned, Steed. You, you should have summoned. <laughs> I don't have it prepared. I had summoned a Steed at one point. Oh, and no, then... I mean, I can do it. I don't think that's for you. Now you don't actually have summon steed as a th as steed. Yeah, it's your it's your own separate steed that's kind of been traveling with the army in that regard. It's been with you. I did cast the fine steed and then I unprepared the spell because I didn't need it anymore. I don't even see it in your spell list. That's the weird part. I I I do distinctly remember you doing some uh, find steed. I think then summon fine steed. steed. That's yeah. why. Watch me save 150 bucks. I want it to be a camel. I'm kidding. I do not want it to be a camel. <laughs> you hump around this place with a spitting, farting, smelling animal. Oh. Every so often it just throws its stomach out its mouth to cool down. <laughs> Alright, let's move. So, to what pace are you? past Exodus and put my hand on his shoulder and say, we'll, we'll talk when we get a chance. What, so, at which pace do we wish to be moving today, gentlemen? I'm horse. Oh, let's do fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Do fast. Do fast. Okay. So, is it where you can do 30 damn miles? So, 12, 3, hmm. See, I'd be 12. That's that there. So, give me a sec, because I am horrible with numbers. And uh, we have 6, 12, 18, 24, oh, 30. So that can get you to about here ish on day one. If that's the direction we are traveling in. Yeah, yep. Then, as you are headed in that direction, as you all pack up, the army starts moving with you as the day starts. Who would be so kind to roll a d20? Oh, 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 oh. 19. These are heading along, <clears throat> listening and looking. You know, just getting to grips with this new but old, familiar, and different dynamic. Can I have a D10, please? As you just walk on. Fiend taking in all this new. A man who's known nothing but trees and grass is brought to desolate isolation of sand, stone, and lifelessness. Mm -hmm. One day ten, please, somebody. Yeah, someone else rolled that. I rolled the d20, so it'll suck. I'll do it. <laughs> so you pass and move on through once more. I'm going to ask you to re-roll that d10 because, uh, yeah, no, fuck. Fuck doing that tenth time. <laughs> All we ever get is this one. I'm gonna ask you to do it again, I'll be honest. Six and seven is manticores. How many times can we fight the fucking manticores? Oh, I know, right. <laughs> Let me blow on the dice. Just budget. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. The no. Table is. 
Oh, it's been... It's been long established. But, as you is passing through, you start to notice the... Strange... Strange striations of the rock. And as you do, you look around. And... Things... Start to appear rather... Odd... For you. You start to land in odd. Okay, you're still classed as unconscious, Renard. I'm gonna remove that. You're also still classed as dead, to be fair. I'm gonna remove that as well. You're no longer dead. I appreciate it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel dead. I feel odd, but I don't feel dead. You're gonna start feeling this odd looks around. You find yourselves in a canyon. As you look, you start to see webs around this canyon. The ground is cracked. Yeah, I've got melon here. What the hell is she concentrating on? There we go. The ground is cracked. You start kind of waving your arms to pass these odd webs of all things. Token vision is what's required on this map as well as global illumination. That will always help. Mm. This is our here. You're gonna hear this odd. It does you lift your foot to find a small dead spider. Is it where you hear this? I'm gonna require everyone to roll initiative. No. Spiders. Why is it always maybe, sometimes, always maybe, sometimes spiders? <laughs> I charge my headset real quick and then I will change us to some beautiful combat music and I'll also move the melano sheet over here because it is necessary. Awesome. I would say that that's a negative three, but like, uh, you know, don't get any lower. Mm -mm. Went to go into combat and fell asleep. <laughs> It ain't giving me the CR for this battle, which is arguably the worst thing about this battle. Because I would like to have the CR. Oh, it's CR. Yeah. You're good. Clifton is the only one here who, uh, I guess I'm playing Clifton. Guess I am also the cleric. I will try to let you guys die at least once. <laughs> It's my clerical promise. As the battle commences, from do the wrong game, dun 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 Clifton, first off the bat. Yeah. See a spider up on yonder high. I just bit this sheet over here, which is good. Hopefully, please for the love of God. Ah, he's still got. Ah, it's it's pre-prepared. Ah. Raises his hand, screams in nomad. What the fuck? Screams in nomad. Patrid, feeling to Santa. He's watched as a beautiful, good old spiritual weapon fires forth. As it does it? Sees the spider here. Meets combat. Big schmack. Clifton looks at it. He's like, nah, nah. This ain't good enough. You can hear the bell toll once more. This is like the world's sickest and most dirty combo that all clerics should just be doing at all times. It saves, however. We move over to Exodus.
I'll say I'll say Exodus. Exodus. Oh, I was I was muted. So uh, Exodus will grab his uh, Shakira amulet. Hello, and would, hello, pop, hello. would pop his smite. I mean, that's smite. His um, haste. Um, on oh, my yeah, all right, all right, there we go. And then he would go. I forget. Can I use? So that was my action. But then I get the other action. Can I booming blade with that action, or can I just? It's class is another action. So anything that's classed as an action can be done with it. Okay, you can only use the, the attack one weapon. All right, all right, all right. Move in. Oh, let me zoom in. How high is he up in the air? Uh, let's say five foot in a tree. Ah. Can I reach him? Yeah, I mean you're you're technically five foot. He's then five foot, so you know, think of a three D right. plane. I will uh, wrap the air with booming blade. Let's see it. Ah, uh, sorry, I'm getting used to this again. Twelve misses. You know. Oh. Yeah. But see, weird oh. gangly legs of the spider and the tree that make it hard as you can. <laughs> You just narrowly miss. You almost touch it. Alright, and then I'm backing up with Melano. Yep, then I announce your turn. Uh, nope, nope, and uh, that is it. Okay, now I need to find out which of these. Oh! Never say anything about which of these many spiders it is. It's this one here, you're just gonna watch as it turns round, and as it does, fires off onto yourself. Okay, well. <laughs> So, uh, to hit, oh, check if it's within range, you're within range. I'm just gonna watch the webbing seems to over you and you are restrained by the spider's butt web. Oh no. Melano is like, oh no, oh dear goodness, whatever shall I do? Hmm. Firebolt? Question mark. She kind of fires it over to the one that's done this to you. The creature spiders. As Jesus Christ! That's a that's a. It was only twelve blood. damage. <laughs> that is gonna be a quote. It was only twelve damage. <laughs> the spider gonna start crawl over its web off on towards Fane as it does well a 14 I believe misses only just Fane let's move over to the next spider that rushes forth ah oh, risk going to tell me to like recharge or something alright give me a sec I've got something for this um I'm going to put F for failed on this one it hasn't failed anything however it has used its recharge so I know that it's used its recharge. Ah, uh, it's gonna make me do the fucking recharge, ain't it? Nope, I'll use this sheet. Ooh. Bernard, it's it. Butt turns round and if it does. It's, it's the end. Let me check in here. Uh... Yep, is it gonna catch the butt web off to yourself? You two are. Restrained to the web. These spiders all rolled insanely close to each other, which makes us like a really shitty combat to be in. <laughs> As the spider comes rushing up, dashing. This next one here will. Take a clomber and up as it does to Fane. We'll take a chomping as a nat one. Kind of bit natting. So as the next one rushes forth to create what is known in the world as a target rich environment, Fane. Fane. Help, oh, um, just get me quickly. What was that? Can you skip me quickly? Skip you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want me to take the turn for you, or you just want to be... Oh yeah, please take the turn for me. Sorry. Okay. 
Uh, let's do things rather simply then. I'm going to say Fane is in the winter and he's going to go ahead and do fire to this one here. I think he has two attacks if I'm wrong. Extra attack, he has two attacks. So he's going to go ahead and punch the one in front of him. That there is an eight. And he will... What's his unarmed strike thing by the way? His fight style on our fighting. Um, for unarmed strikes, deal bludgeoning damage, you'll put a 1d6 plus strike modifier if you aren't wielding any weapons. For a shield, when you make the attack roll, d6 plus a d8. So he should actually be 1d8. So just gotta make sure he's right because I'm. Um, yeah, it's a mess, but I just still just re roll and then. strength modifier that's technically a one very nice and he will go ahead and just do it again i thought i'd added something on for you so i didn't have to apologize 25 4 4 at the one in front is he gonna just swax an elbow clean into it and then oh we're gonna play the brv again nice <laughs> you will move to between uh, I guess I know you play Renard. Well, I'm just playing self D&D. &D. <laughs> mm. um, yeah, Renard will try and break this because... In fact, Willie, is it going to do anything if he's restrained out of curiosity? I have returned with Salmon. We're in combat. Oh, God. What are those fucking ticks? Spiders. <laughs> right, you know what? Oh. Renard, Renard may be restrained, but he's still going to take his... Conic longsword and just try and plug the fucker twice with it. Uh, an 8 and a 13 both miss before mods. Clifton, you are up. I've already bust off a spiritual weapon for you. Um, so yeah, you have spiritual weapon up if you wish to use it. You're not restrained, but there's a ton of spiders everywhere. Uh, fuck these spiders. Spiritual weapon is, uh, mm, I'm sure my favorite kind of spell. Um, yeah, I'm gonna bust off a, uh... Bust off a blood letter. Yeah, blood letter. Yes, to the second level. I'm still doing that shit, hold on. Let you me, still let me roll privately, off. so I'll do that. Bump yeah, up. let me, let me... Let me... Add the spell slide back and swing it again. Oh, it's already there, never mind. Let me take that spell slide away then. Okay, and yeah, so it's a retro weapon. That thing's gonna attack this spider. Yeah. Um, the roll is d20 plus 6, I believe. Uh, spiritual weapon and blood letter are both bonus actions, mate. Oh, That's... my bad. Okay, oh, yeah. No, fuck the spiritual weapon. Uh, yeah. It'll just stand there menacingly, like threatening, like brandishing itself at the spider. You still have your action? Do you right. wish to do anything? Yes, I am going to longsword. Uh, hmm. Fane's there, so I'm going to longsword this one. Mm -hmm. Hold on. How do I ping it? I don't want uh, to see your mouse, don't worry. This one here? Okay. Yeah, that one. Yep. Right. Longsword time. Ain't nothing wrong. Ooh. Nice. Because you're going to bring that one down on there. Um... You also get to roll on there, uh, 4d6. 4d6. Yep. Because you. your damage die doubles mm -hmm. on a crit. Because you have been sick of seeing all that's going to cast the blood letter on your blade and then immediately just oh, bring down this slash as it does you all watch this necrotic damage seeps in as well. Fuck me, my guy. That's a one -y. You're gonna watch. That's a one? You're gonna bring it in down. You watch the spider cleaved in half. And <laughs> um, my guy, that's. That's one dead Damn. spider. One shot. Damn, the. I'm feeling mighty cleric today. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you wake up and choose violence <laughs> along with healing? Like, I just wake up and say, mm, people can live now, but only the people I want to live. And you, I'm sorry, but have you looked in the mirror? You don't quite make the cut. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. We've got Exodus restrained at a very low DC to bust. However, I think it's an action to bust. Uh, let me check. Um, I'm busting right now. I'm busting right now. I'm busting as we speak. I busted since we came back so, here. Was it a strength check? A strength check? A strength check, Athletic. DC 12. Specifically, it's strong. You got mm, mm, nothing. You're, sp be honest, you're speeding zero, but that's really it. Like, you know, if you got rage. Yeah. <laughs> Can I use my other action? To try and bust still? Yeah. yeah, yeah, with haste. Two actions, why not? Yeah, I'm gonna bust again. Are you now? I can't seem to bust by myself. Melano, help me bust. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that is, uh, that, that'll be, uh, my turn. Uh, I don't think I can bonus action to get out of here. Oh, whoa. Nope. Do you have water, sorry? Oh. Have I always had bite on the back of my shoulder? Yes. Yeah, you had, you had multiple bites. No, you have to. Don't worry, stop scratching. She's getting in the game. It's cheering the game. And I've just taken an anti-hysteria. I, I don't... There's not enough that tube to cover my entire body. Where I'm itchy, there's not even bites. Like, I'm itchy all over here. There's not a single bite. Get chamomile lotion in the morning. I am going to have to bathe in that shit. Oh, well, we don't have a bath, so good luck with that. God damn mosquitoes. Speaking of things that people don't like, Spider comes down as it does having making good clean work of yourself, Exodus. Immediately turns round and chomp at a chomp. A 21 for 11 and I need a constitution saving throw please. Uh, 24 for 11. Uh, let me just, uh, yeah, con saving throw, let me pop that now. While well, I look for something. If I play a few different... That's okay. No, I don't have one kind of dodge yet. Alright. You did it. You take 11 piercing, but zero poisoning. And con save DC 10, please. I already made it. It was a 20? No, there's a con save so you don't get poisoned, and then a con save uh, for the Oh, right. Haste. Yeah. You good. Uh, 11 damage renos, you said? Yep, oh, you if got it. Thank yep. you. Melano, who looks at us, goes, I've had it with these motherfucking spiders in this motherfucking desert. However, she can't really do it much. <laughs> uh, bom, 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 uh. Oh, she's gonna risk it. She's gonna. She realizes the shit that she's in, the shit that could go on. She's gonna. Try and firebolt the one that's just run up to her. 13 just misses. He's going to watch it <laughs> off. Some of the fire seems to burn away. No worries, man. No worries. The spitter from here will chase on up a fan. Give him a good baity bait a 15 just hits uh fane can i have a con save as well please sire oh damn yeah. he just got back unfortunately that's that's D, &D. you also take a further six poison damage we don't know how much damage they just done to me the Booter here will turn its butt and proceed to. It's I got that range. I think it's got that range. That's good. Our range, right? Dun 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 dun. dun. Yep. Take his butt and fire towards Fane. These things rolling really hot. Fane is gonna watch as the butt comes. As it does, you are 
restrained by the spinner who has used his butt. Hate his butt. Get a stupid butt. Spider here, taking a look at Renard will come in for a chomp. A 14 for 8 will miss. And it does it well. You can jump back. Giant Spida. That's his name, don't worry. It will run forward towards Clifton as he does. We'll take a bite. An 11 will miss. Fane wrapped up in the webbing. Spider in front of you. Huh? Uh, what is it to get out? Strength? Next. Strength. The lunch is almost dinner time. Strength save. DC almost is dinner time. DC 12. But that's also yeah. your action. You show an Exodus how it's done as you just get a burst out of this. That's my action, so I still have my bonus action. Yeah, you still get your bonus action. Let me just look at this really quickly. Um... What are you looking at? Okay. Never mind. Uh, I was looking at uh, Fury of Blows. You know, if I can get it out, but nope, I can't. So what I will do is punch the spider in front of me in the face. Twenty. Take away three. Did Why did you take away three? Because, firstly. It is a offhand attack. Secondly, I it, thought monks could do that with martial arts. Yeah, but it's still class two weapon fighting, so you still are using an offhand attack, so you lose the proficiency part. Also, because of your resurrection, you're on negative three as opposed to negative four. However, it hits. Yeah. Okay. Even after all those negatives, a negative six, and you still manage to just break the spider. Just left-handed fist. You gotta hear that high-pitched scream. I'm checking something. Uh, uh. What up? Doesn't Fane have a shield on him? No, that was, um... That was... Rebel. Rebel, yeah. And also, Fane with the shield then loses unarmored defense. Right. Okay, um... So... We're gonna make it burn with this. I can use it with this. We'll see what you're trying to do. Both your tattoo. Just use a charge on that hit. Yeah. Okay. So um. So I believe you would just uh click it. Yeah, click it. That's uh, the naming, and it should pop through. Okay. Okay. Clearly not. Give me a sec. Um. Um, and I'll give you that charge back. It didn't even use a charge. You can go again. Yeah, it didn't even. That's because it's not equipped. That's why. Try now. Did you use it again? Yeah. It's not removing your charges. Okay, that's odd, but. Eh. Eight plus seventeen. Yep, is he gonna Well off your punch? Is it gonna you know watch the necrotic end? It seems to crawl up the spider and it does you hear that squeaking scree as it drops dead. Do it ask your turn? Nope. Okay, then I will Actually yeah, let's uh let's go over here. 
Do some movement. Ooh. Stand between Renard and this spider. Okay. No, oh, Renard, so restrained. Uh, well, I guess I need to strength check. Uh, strength save DC is twelve, but it is your action as well. Martial arts. Let me read that. So you're gonna oh. try, but no avail. Then anything else for your turn? Uh, that's my action. Yes, unfortunately. All uh, right, I can't pull a dagger out and attack the webbing. So I guess that's it. Well, what do you think? Nope, that's it. Okay, that far as over Clifton, covered and these bad boys. All right. Uh, let me just make sure that uh, this is uh. Hold on, let me look for the spell before I ask a stupid question. Until the spell ends, the next creature. Okay, yeah, this is one creature. Okay. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Yep. So yeah, spiritual weapon is gonna move over to this guy, and it's gonna swing. It's gonna swing, and it's gonna swing for a d20 plus six, I believe. How do I, how do I move the spiritual? I never learned that. Don't worry, uh, sorry, I'm just setting my bed time for tonight. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Fuck me over like that, they did the bastards. Uh, which one are you moving it to? Uh, this laddie right here. Yeah, five foot. Blam. Swing, better, better, swing. Hey, better, 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 better. I don't know, we, we don't do a baseball over here, I don't know if I'm doing it right. Oh yeah, no, pretty much like like both what you said and I said are apparently taunts for the batter to uh, miss. They don't sound like taunts to me. Yeah, no, it's more like you're cheering them on. Yeah. yeah. So your spiritual weapon comes in and whoosh, you're gonna hear that high pitched screeing of the spider. You wanna go ahead and roll damage there? Uh, spiritual yeah. Weapon. Do you want me roll the spell again? Uh, you can roll the spell if you want and not burn the spell slot, or you can just roll flat damage. I think damage wise, I think it's like 2d6, correct me if I'm wrong. Oh, alright. Oh, sorry, um, it's 1d8, 1d8 plus 3 for yourself. Okay, got gotcha. you. 1d8 plus 1d3. Six is you're gonna bring in and. Did I announce your turn? Yeah. Long sword attack. And a little bit for ten. He's gonna bring that in down and just seem to miss. Your know, over eagerness and cockiness from killing the first one in one clean swip is coming back to haunt you. Oh, oh, most definitely. <laughs> then answer your turn. That'll be it. Ooh. Then we run over to the giant spider. Who will go ahead and take his attack. <laughs> On the man, women, man, women, let's, let's pick the gods. Uh, X is higher low. Tipler higher low. What's that? High or low? Uh, let's go with low. Low it is. You're gonna watch the spider turn around and immediately <laughs> takes a chunk and melano. Uh, that is a hat, and then she got to go ahead and do it. Oh, was that? That missed my turn. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I fucked you over there entirely. My apologies, sire. Don't know why. Uh, we both, both, we both of us clicked the same thing. Eager. All right, I will use my action to try to wiggle out of here. Let's do this. Oh, out the web. Third time's the charm. Yeah, and I was like, you're fucked. And he's gonna move up around uh, five, five, ten, fifteen, flanking, booming blade. Flanking, not a thing we do here, uh, but sure. Oh, it's not? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I forgot. It's alright. I mean, still repositioning better than nothing. You get like, what, fucking yeah. 60 foot? Yeah. I'm gonna. Let's, let's see this again. Hold on. Yep, alright. 
14, 14. 47 actually does hit. It's going to bring that in. Just right. hits. And then Booming Blade. Yep. So I'm scratching these dates. Uh, 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 additional, the five additional. And then Sneak Attack? Uh, not even... It's alright, adding all your ads. Yeah, add all your ads. They're gonna come to down. You watch as the spider crumbles. Ooh. You look to the last two. But that would be his turn. Right. Gonna remove the restraint tag from yourself. I'm not gonna move over the. You really did save Melano from that one there. Oh wow, you took the one that came that's coming right after you, right? Oh shh. Oh yeah. No, I can delete them. You, you're not doing experience here. The fuck am I saying? <sighs> Melon, oh well, go ahead and take a. Uh, you know what? Should we take a 25 foot jump back to invoke? Just for the sake of it, it misses, but on our invoke invocation, it fires back a firebolt towards the one up here as it does. 1948. <laughs> She does move over to the Giant Spiada, who will go ahead and take a bite into Clifton. 10 for 7 will miss. So does the Spada over here. We'll have to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll move to here and take a bite into our Monk. 13 will just miss, I believe. Yep. And then our final spider. Damn, they are all over here. We'll take a step up and we'll take a bite into Renard. That is a natural 24. A total of 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 22, 5. Nope, wait, I need a con save first, actually. Sorry. I'm counting, uh, Renard, I'm counting the poison before the poison's even been resisted. The poison's been resisted. Uh, you're... You're, you're taking 11 damage, mate. <laughs> arguably better than 25. Arguably. Not arguably. Fain, fain, fain. Oh, okay. Gonna hit this guy behind me. Gonna go unarmed strike. Yeah. That's and it's not rolling blows. damage. Is it? Yeah, okay. that's what I was, my chief. They're both fists. Oh, yeah, I, ch uh, like I changed that for a reason. <laughs> so like that. That. That, that. Oh, I'm gonna change your... There you go. So there's your uh, unarmed strike. Been changed to something a bit more fisting. Uh, the one in front, nine message. You're gonna fire up second. 17 for four. Splat. You're gonna come with a nine again. I'm gonna miss. You're gonna punch and fake. Punch and fake. All of them at the same target. Yeah, sure. Gonna end this and up and two hits, two fails, the spider. Gonna scream and bits of it crack talk. You doing anything else your turn? Go war. Not that. I need to give myself key points back. <laughs> Why wow, you used a key point there? I'm just laughing about the, uh, the wings thing. unfurled, I think, consumes a key point. It, it actually hasn't taken it off, which is the mental part. It's got its own technical. Left. It's got its own uses. You first need to take step of the wind, and then after taking step of the wind, you can then use wings unfurled. Okay. I'm just laughing at the thought of just Fang or mid battle just wings pop out like no, not that, and it retcons. <laughs> just revel. <laughs> nope. Just revel up the pops out of this as you like. We'll just pop <laughs> that. Yeah. Just for the extra cherry on top. Fane just pops out with wings and uh, says, Rubble, do you mind? Like, Rubble's like, got it. Fane in, Fane out, and as you do, kind of hit the final one up and just... And watch it. And crumbles. Did I announce your turn? Yep, I'm going to move around. If I can move. Oh, I targeted myself. Okay. I noticed that you took the timer off. That's in Dungeon of the Mad Mage. That's a le like, that's... There's a lot of use in Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Mm -hmm. That's a very right, much yeah. a dungeon crawl. This is a, this is a story first, and then combat second. 
Mad Mage is combat, mate. <laughs> yep. Okay, move to back here, didn't ask your turn. That's it. Cool. Renard still stuck, you can break it if you wish, or technically speaking, you can attack. Um, you have that option. You just have disadvantage on the attack. Oh, uh, I'll just try breaking it again, what the heck. You bust out of this one. Bang. Done. Wait, nope. No, you don't. Sorry. I apologize. No, you do. Sorry. Yeah, I'm an idiot. No, yes, no. Where 15 takeaway 3 is 12. Correct. <laughs> I'm bad at math, alright? It's been a while. That's okay, you know. Sorry, sorry. You bust on out, standing there, ready to take on whatever the spider can throw at you. Didn't answer your turn. Well, let's see. Bonus actions. Any bonus actions I can take would be great. Technically, bonus action mm -hmm. dagger attack. Oh, yeah. That's one action, takes up both of my attacks, yeah? Yeah, it classes it as an action. You need an action to break free or take the attack action. Uh, I would say you could probably you, you could probably do some damage to this thing. Probably. Yeah, we'll 23, 4, 9. Fuck off, did I do that? What'd you do? Not what I thought. Okay. What the f So I'm check ah uh, so one D four, okay, so you get the four. Proficiency doesn't go on damage, correct me if I'm wrong, right? Huh? Mm. For months no. it does. For the alt hand or for the uh, For any the attack, I'm gonna bust a spear attack as well, don't worry. Oh by the way, Scottish I gotta talk to you. <laughs> you wanna talk to me? Yeah Oh so, that's what it is I think. Keep talking, don't worry. Yeah, so um I I know what you said was it falls under two weapon fighting but it also the PHB also has a section for um the uh unarmed strikes if I use the unarmed strikes it's just that plus my strength mod and it doesn't take off from my uh proficiency yeah so I'll never go but back if I hit you. like a sword and then my fist, then it would take off my proficiency. Right, there we go. Figure it out. Uh, that plus two is coming from your fighting style, so that's why that's so. Uh, when you are wielding a melee I weapon get, in I, one uh... sec. When you're wielding a melee weapon in one hand and no other weapons, plus two, because you got an R weapon, and uh, because of how it goes, it's just a straight four damage you do, because hey, we got an R weapon in our hand. But yeah, uh, then an extra turn for not. Oh, but you'd smite it. Uh, smite for a further three damage. Yep, there is your turn. That's it. Go, go, go. I'll fire over Clifton. Um, what are you up to, my guy? Clifton time! Okay, um, let's see what I can do. Alright, there's a spiritual weapon. And one oh, of those little white ones. Yo. That's, sorry, my bad. What were you saying? Virtual weapon is gonna do its thing. What's the D10? Stop that. Virtual weapon. One D8 plus three. One D. That's that's damage. My bad. Um. Right. So we know you'll do ten damage if you hit. That's if I hit. So one D20 plus and six. For the magic. For the mm. magic, it hits as you kind of bring it in and down and just bust out of the spider. It's gonna be like, like crab legs being cracked open. There anything else with your turn? You know, that reminds me, you could, if a spider is big enough and not poisonous, you can technically do the same thing you could do to a crab. Ride it? You said what? Ride it? 
Why are you riding crabs? No, Jalen. I mean, eat it. That, that's the same thing to do. Eat oh, I'm, giant so, I'm sorry. Eating spiders is better? Yes. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm, I'm just joking. Well, not, not, about, not about doing it. Like, you could do that. But no, like I was, I was just trying to make a little we, joke with Jalen. We we have a whole I mean, show they, over here called "I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here," which is proof that you can do that. I mean, people eat like fried fried spiders. They're supposed to taste pretty good. It's just that none of them are really big enough to really, you know, eat them like a crab. You're bringing that we eat sword. The spider leg. <laughs> You're bringing that sword. What's more, mm -hmm. cleft down at the spider, and it narrowly misses. That gangly bit is just swinging in the wind. Don't know your turn. Swinging in the wind like Clifton's foreskin. Jesus fucking Christ, mate. He has, he has. Wait, no, that, that came out a bit more intense than I intended it for, to. I wanted to make a short dick joke, but like that didn't, that didn't, that didn't work. <laughs> the only thing hanging is. Well, I could have been ball sack, but nah. End of turn. Let's just hope you don't have to wear zippy jeans. <laughs> I am zooming. Yow. Exactly, I got the case of the zoomies, I'm zooming right here. If the rogue Good possibly eye. has a case of the zoomies. Attack bottom left. ER. Let's, yep. Does he look injured? Like, how Very, injured does he look, he, if he I can is, tell? He's hanging, like, there's parts of him cut off. Spiders get eight legs, this guy get, like, six and a half. Hmm, alright. I'll, uh... I'll give him the good old not booming blade, but still the good old college try. Is you gonna bring and as you do, just the <laughs> spider immediately just crumbles to the ground. Beautiful nat twenty, so. Ooh. Next one, he's moving. Time to with the booming blade uh, and sneak attack. So you gonna bring in this one here as you do. And yep. pulling on it, the blood just yeah. You definitely knocked a few legs out on there as well. Hold on. It does the uh, seven, seven plus boom plus sneak attack. He's gonna watch his delayed reaction, but I don't know why I took that off you. And that I must got you back. Accident. Don't worry. Delayed reaction. He's gonna and collapses down. Gone with the wind. I wonder how it's about to click a ward experience. Oh, yeah, it actually gives you his experience. That's not. Ah, oh, one combat tracker does, one combat does. Doesn't kill. Today I learnt. This is slaughtered. The spiders, a very obviously powerful enemy. Spiders, you know, poison and all that. I just deleted Exodus. Does anybody care? Uh oh, oh, uh -oh. <laughs> oh, oh, help, help, help! <laughs> the cards, they want oh, me! No, 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 no. Exodus blinks into the void and then blinks back. This, like, is this is not equivalent exchange. This is not equivalent exchange. I mean, what did we get in return if Exodus just, like, gets taken? Peace and quiet? You oh, know? No. You know? <laughs> I'm no, wondering. It's... I was thinking if I had to kill one member of the party, who would I choose and why? And you just made the options so much easier. But let's not kid ourselves, it was, well, not kid ourself, it was Clifton anyway. <laughs> yes, yes. And just start out packed with pot. It goes, where did all my platinum go? No Wait, idea. where did your platinum go? I don't know. I don't know if it was a mistake by Scottish or is it <laughs> Oh, no, uh, no, Clifton didn't say any of that. I'm also, I don't quite know what Sarge meant by piece of quiet. Much, how much platinum did you much. have? Like 75 pieces. I can't think. Whoa. So much. I'm going to call it 70. Let me my eyes smart. Would you say? I'm going to call it 70 just now, and then I'll check back the video later, and I'll amend it appropriately, okay? Okay. <laughs> actually, it made my eyes smart for a second. You said My man had 700 gold? What? I, also, I, I still, still remember having... I still don't have that much money. What are you I also distinctly about? remember having 500 gold before, like, this session. I don't know what happened to it. 70 platinum is 700 gold. I'm lying, by the way. Is it? Uh, I yeah. didn't know that. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a lot dead. of. Fu- that's a lot of fucking money. I still don't have that much money. <laughs> I have six, two gold pieces, one electrum piece, and that is it. Hot damn! I think, I think you uh you were talking to Fane one time about it, and you were like, "Was that money made from the party's exploits?" And he was like, "Yes." And he was like, "Did you think you should share that with the party?" And I was like, "Well, we have a paladin who doesn't believe." And taking from the dead. <laughs> it's like everybody else has a, some kind of other moral thing about it. You didn't think about it, so uh, that's all mine. Or or you have platinum because he split it with you. I don't have a single platinum. Oh, yeah. You didn't give me remember. shit. I, you know what? I definitely would have took his money. You know, <laughs> maybe now is the time Clifton starts charging for his services. <laughs> No one knows Fane has his money except for how much you think your life is worth? Like uh, a platinum piece. A single platinum piece, then. Do do you know? For for healing. Like a silver for, piece. A silver? That's kind of cheap, but you know. I mean, like, money in this world is weird. I have I, I have feel like for coming to back buy a small estate. I feel like for coming back from the dead to have the opportunity to use said platinum, I feel like a good forty percent is is reasonable. Forty percent. I would have spent longer. What, what platinum are you guys talking about? Fame is a monk. You know, I you wouldn't, you, wouldn't, money. you wouldn't have the opportunity to like even touch that platinum. You got to be thankful for the air you breathe. I was touching God Bot a while ago. <laughs> Yeah. As you start to progress through the night, the day, the day starts to turn towards night. It gets dark. What does the party wish to do? Continue onwards, risking exhaustion, or taking a night? Gonna take a night. Need a long rest. Take a night. Uh, and I have some of this salmon. Mm, salmon. Got it. So you have. You have my unarmed strike set up a little weird. Uh, one d eight plus strength. One d eight plus dex. Mm, nope. Well, don't monks use dex? Monks use dex. Yeah, monks use dex. Monks use dex. However, his fighting style doesn't. Hmm. So, oh, okay. You're you're using my. I would have thought martial arts overruled that. No, your feet overrules. Your no, but I see. Yeah, it's just my feet. Your feet technically overrules that. It changes your d. Oh fuck me! It's all been jittery there. So it changes you from a d eight. So if you're using a weapon, it's a d6 plus strength, but if you're unarmed, so if you're not getting a shield, sorry, then it's a d8 instead, which even at a d8 negative one is still technically, on average, higher than you will actually be able to roll in that regard, in terms of like your averages, because you're currently martial arts die is a d6. So a d6 plus 3 still only averages about th- that 3-ish area. Mm. So you're the d8 on there instead. It seems odd, I know, but it's it's still technically using dex to hit, but the damage is strength. Does that make sense? Right. So do I use my martial arts in any aspect at all? Uh, breath weapon. God. And I don't even use that. He Be- breathe angry air. <laughs> <laughs> because you've only just got it. I don't think you, don't think you got that until <laughs> very recently, your breath weapon. No, nah, I've had it for a while. Well, yeah, the, you've never been able to... Yeah, level 3, sorry, yeah. You just don't had a big enough crowd to fuck up with it. And technically, your martial anything that says about your martial arts die, but barring your actual hits, it is just uh, 
Yeah, barring your actual two hits. It's just... Yeah, I'm fucking my words in the floor. Bar your damage is mainly other things that say how you know, many martial art die you use. Your die just goes up throughout is all. But in this case, mm. by the end of by the end of the campaign, by the end of the campaign's levelings at least, um, you'd already be doing a D8 damage anyway. But you'd only just have gotten it. Because you get a D8 at level 11. Okay. Let me uh, look at the superior technique to see which one I want. Okay. okay. For everybody else, I will. Actually, you know what? I'll take parry. Okay, I. That's the one I know off the top of my head. So, for yeah. your superior technique, which is part of your. Fighting style, superior technique, uh, you learn one manoeuvre. Let's check here, yep, one superior, what's your superiority die though, that's my issue. It's probably like two. Uh, let's see, uh, you gain one superiority die, which is a d6. So... Yeah, so what I'll do here is I will add you a superiority die to your sheet. Parry should also be a reaction, right? What was that? Parry should be a reaction, right? I will add it as a maneuver and such, don't worry, I'll get that sorted for you, man. I'm okay. gonna duplicate trance. Trance, and then call it um, superiority die. You gotta take the most complicated shit at the worst times, Jalen, you know that? <laughs> yeah! Just putting it out there. Praise. Look on the roots. Yeah, superior now, 1d6, you have 1 of 1 per long rest. Okay, and then... Yeah, for everyone else who doesn't make dumb choices in the middle of a game and require the game to pause every five minutes... Sorry, sir. Jalen. Uh, sorry, my, my bad. <laughs> I'm out then. Just Jalen, don't worry, alright? I'll bully everyone else some other time. Uh, yeah, I will say, you get... For the safety quickness of it, you all get a... Nice, easy... Long rest. And alright, imagine. Uh, combat superiority. Maneuvers. The, uh, what's the. Uh... Hmm? Where are we going? You are here. Green one. Where are we going to the portal? No? Yep. Yeah. I'll find how to add this at some point. Is that another option? If you're gonna check here once more, um, I'm gonna do a tower. I'll be back. Yeah, that's right. Was Fane was Fane the one that was told how to use the portals, or was that Revel whenever you brought me over into Dungeon of the Mad Mage? That was out of character. Okay, we're cool. All right, but yeah, as. It were it's an other option or feature apparently. Okay. And then you said it was parry. Yep. MVB parry this, you filthy casual. I have added parry to your sheet. And parry is a special which will one superiority die per long rest. Okay, but you don't have a superiority die here, do you? Not in there, but in your inventory. You don't care. So, yeah, for everyone else, he's taking a nice, easy, quick, beautiful long rest. Weird things happen in them. Who knows what? But, you know, things happen. Can I have a D10?
Okay. I'll do it. Get the D10s. Okay. Um, this is like on through for this day here. It is now negative two to yourselves, by the way, guys. This is awake into the day. He's had a good hard sleep, however, as you notice all the channels and such are filled with water today. Your breath hangs low and it's not arid for a change, it's comfortable. For it. I'm gonna ask your movement speed. <coughs> For the day, you're going a fast, slower, medium pace. A fast, slower, normal pace. Mm -hmm. Can normal pace? Yeah. I don't know. Normal pace, well, that's okay, there you go. Yep. We'll see if you start on traveling through. You once again come to one of those weird portals. As you watch as the arcane energy seems to pss, pss, mm -hmm. pss, pss, of purple. And so where you watch as a Calaman soldier seems to make the presence known. And as they do they look at you. Yes. This is where we part. As you watch as the soldier seems to change to the form of Revel before altering ever so slightly. And does walks over to just by the portal and puts her hand out. As you watch as the arcane energy in her hand seems to start to pulsate before firing at the portal as it does the portal ignites on the other side of this portal you see it dank dark you see five other shapes standing there as it does you watch as revel starts to walk towards the portal. And she does. Well, she, she takes a familiar form of a dragon phage from when she was first came here. Proceeds to walk through the portal and she does it <coughs> starts to crumble and crack in front of you. Where mm. Revel is gone. Oh. Looks like Revel was a dragon phage all along. I'm back. Welcome back. That's you. It's approach. Walking wreath. You once more see the giant gated door which was used to enter. Everything about this place is different. Nod. Oh, oh, that doesn't air. feel too great. Mm. It has an air about it. door remains mm. in the same position mm. as it were. Right, as you look upon this building, you see the flashes of this creature that leans out and grabs your neck. You still feel that pain in your neck, like a bad night's sleep. And as you look at it, once more you see the flash of this 
armored figure. Does the silence around this area almost deafening the area itself entirely untouched these enter the building yeah it's you once more enter into work and right you once more see the chamber illuminated by the lights flickering on the sconces and the walls the gleaming obsidian statue of the solemn warrior around it still hundreds of silver coins scattered in the dust the staircase Aww. beyond move all the tokens back into here real quick boom, boom, boom. and then do I get up sucking! Okay, we're good. What building is this again? Walk I only called the Walk and Wreath. Yep. The oh. building that you wanted to go to. All this silver on the ground. Don't mind if I do. I will whoa, stab whoa, you. Whoa, hold on now. <laughs> so, uh. You don't grab it on the you were not here. So I will give you the history check that everyone else got as they looked at this statue. It seems like a guardian of some sort. Be that a guardian of the dead or maybe some odd and other statue mm. it may have is there a religious a, meaning uh, it may not it's it escapes you as though you are elven yourself uh your sylvan sd cousins are a bit cunty about things but yeah what are you gonna say there man I was gonna ask if there was like a name plate or something on the statue at the bottom. There is no plaque or such there, no. Uh. Okay. Well, uh, shall we, guys? Hmm. We fell. Now he takes a deep breath before vaulting the stairs. He follows. So you sure you no, want to No, I'm about to have a panic attack up here. As you head on up the big deep oh, breath no required. Attacks. I'm gonna move Clifton as well. So you head on up once more. The lashes of what came here. You still see the two tattered robes of the two dead creatures. One here. As you can tell. Someone slew the creature that slayed you. And just over here, another white robe in almost perfect condition in comparison to the other. Top of the room, the ceiling has been cracked out with 
no other way up. See, one of the robes was like undamaged. One is black and tattered, obviously wear and tear from its years. However, the other one is dusty and you know dirty, but still almost white and intact, like a white shirt that's been in the cupboard just a bit too long. Hmm. We'll examine that one a little closer. Anyone have a detect magic on them? Smash me an arcana, will ya? An arcana? Minus two? You never know. Ah, uh, you never know. I already got a minus one. There is something to this. You can feel something running through it. As to what that yeah, something yeah. is, and I don't think anyone else has anything that could attempt to check in. Uh, I don't think anyone else has anything else that can technically add to it. What about you? Alexis, head up. All the stuff out of my pack anyway. For later examination. You have detect magic. Do I? You've not got it prepared, however, I don't think you've prepared any spells in quite some time, so I'm willing to give you it. You just got to unprepare another spell in its place. Okay, yeah. Um, okay. Let's undo that. Let's undo... That one. Okay, now I've got it. I cast Detect Magic. Because in another timeline, these things just happen, people. <laughs> but yeah, as you take this, take a look. I believe I am a level, but this should have one. No, this is level two, so I'm looking at it. Why am I looking at it? Americanism. Mm. Bet, bet, better, but yep. Here. You find a. Man, you're gonna kick me for this one. Find a cloak, if you will. Imbued with magic. This here. Uh, I've got to make sure I get the right school of magic for you. This here is a divination type of magic. And this protection. Mm. As you feel, you realize that um, it's, a, it's a cloak of protection. <laughs> cloak of. <laughs> All right. Requires attunement. However, uh, you do know that this gives you a plus one to your AC when attuned. Alright, who else? Who needs a cloak of protection? Plus one. I mean, whoever has the lowest AC here. Yeah. And can you? I don't know that a monk would want to have a cloak wrapping him up when he's trying to move, but. If he, if he wants to, he can have it. Who's got the lowest AC? Does a cloak of protection count as armor? Now you got me questioning. I mean, without my shield? Maybe. No, it's clothes. Cloaks are clothes. Yeah, cloak is clothes. Armor it's is clothes. Not armor. It's a magic item. It's clothes. No, no, stop. You're going to ruin yourself, Scottish. It's clothes. <laughs> Yeah, so it just adds a bonus. So yeah, it's not armor; it's just a bonus. All right. I'm uh, I'm 15 right now. 
I thought you were over 20, but I'm glad you decided to share this with us over a year later. Oh, no, 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 no. My, my AC is 15. It's Melanie's. Uh, 14. You like to stand in the back, though. What yeah, else? she does. She, yeah, <laughs> I'm surprised she ever gets damaged. Yeah. And she's got more hit points than any of you. Should be alright. Yeah. Bane is 15? Yeah. What's Clifton? Oh, Clifton is... You said, you said my hit points or my... Uh... 16, 16 without a shield and 18 with a shield. Yeah, he'd be alright. What do you mean I'll be alright? No. I'm, I'm kind of like... AC 15 base, and I have 50 hit points. Yeah, 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 but you're fast. You'll be good. <laughs> yeah, I, I can I can run around this room, but like you know. What about Exodus? How the fuck are you a monk with 15 AC? Really shit rolls. Oh, I don't know, man. Like what he Exodus. said. Oh, there is. I remember uh, Fane being the shit. Yeah. No, Ex I uh. Exodus gets 18. 18 AC. Yeah, with a shield. I'm I'm pogging. I'm good. And at the fame and say, this is a cloak of protection. You would you would you like it? Adds to your. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh yeah, this this reminds me, Fane. You probably do you still have all your money? What money? Yeah. Oh yeah, what money? That'll be sixty-five <laughs> platinum pieces. Please, uh, so what? <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. You hand me all your money and I'll let you have it. That would be I'm way out of character for me and uh, well, we're not going to do that. <laughs> uh, I help those in the most need of help so I give it to fame. Like, what are you, a rogue? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, a rogue wants to become a knight, so why can't the knight want to become a rogue, right? Let me introduce myself. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello there. We haven't spoken in a hot minute. Um, there money. should be a rope over here. Um, me and Mello no left. Oop. I didn't mean to come up here. Uh, so I didn't here's, know here's the thing. Photo. Yeah, the, the rope that y'all may have left. One, not something that Fane knows. Secondly, um, it wasn't attached to anything. Walking. It's not attached to anything. Okay. So, uh. I should, uh, I should have a rope in my pack. What about this door? Ooh. There's a door right here. This is this the opening? Yeah, this is the opening. Let's bust through the door. Where's the door? Who's the door like Clifton's next to? This? No, there's no. There's no. That's a empty staircase. I'm oh, sorry, I'm not supposed to know that. <laughs> I feel like we didn't open the door. Open the door, find an empty staircase. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Yeah, find your empty staircase. That's the reason why you put the rope there in the first place. You see, the stairs ascend about maybe 10, 15 foot before they crumble to nothing. And you can't even see the opening to the next floor. Ooh. Alright. Fucking doors, am I right? Uh, I saw the door shut and I thought I, thought I was in phasmophobia for a second. I was like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. The hell is a python? What? A python? Python. Yeah, it is one of those little like metal new, spikes uh... that you slam into the wall of a cave to, or a cliff to kind of, you know, scale it. It's an anchor. That's cool. Yeah, like I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna face step up here. Yeah. Oh, was it a roll? It just does. Don't worry. Okay. You... Kind of boom, boom, up. Hmm. Fane's gonna look at this lady. He's the ghost still seems to be. I say still. Not that you'd know, but you, you know. It's clamoring and clanking with its sword mm. while she's distracted uh Fane's gonna toss a rope down and secure it 
picking up pigments on the wall over here, I guess. I call this. Space step. The space step have a thing. It doesn't kill right. Bang, bang. Nice. Face steep. Yeah, steep. Of course. It's now a fucking cup of tea. That circle to be a nice colour. Face step. Well, what colour will we make face step? Uh, let's make it oh, purple because fey. Yeah. Um, we're going to repeat this action. I'm going to help this lady pick up her sword. For everyone else, there's a so, yeah, so you've got a saw, you put a rope down and then you've peed on that into the floor, yeah? Mm hmm Yep, okay. Never, everyone else can just walk forward five steps to climb the rope with ease. It's uh, not very hoid, to say the least. Oh, finally. Oh, she ugly. <laughs> she not ugly, don't say that. So you help her. Are going upstairs? What was that, Mitt? We're going upstairs now? Can I climb the rope also? You can climb the rope, yeah. Just uh, move She's forward. Still got to the touch magic one? Yeah, you would, I believe, saw that last, like, I think, is that like an hour or something? I don't know if I'm wrong. Step magic, 30 foot radius. Um, for the duration. Motherfucker, what's the duration? <laughs> well, hey, <laughs> sure it's better. <laughs> In that little bar down there, it usually has a time, an hour, a minute. So I'm gonna scroll up the tech magic. Ten minutes. Nice. Yeah. Uh, for that, you can feel that there is magical around in this area for certain. RJ, you good there, mate? Yeah, my bad. Um, forgot that when somebody calls my Instagram, it just keeps going until I turn it off. Oh, Instagram. Oh. Yeah, it's AJ, by the way, Jayla. What AJ want? Feel... I don't know. Probably to talk to me. Feel the conjuration magic. We'll start with that one around. However, you're aware that the conjuration magic is the magic that's very much keeping the lights on, for lack of better terminology, as you've seen all these sconces still lit up. You can also feel that there is a bit of necromancy up top. Mm. Something going on and you can hear the clinging and the clanging of something trying to move or pick up a sword you also cannot hear the sounds of battle as to why is a completely different story though I oh i don't like the sound of that completely different story can we switch <laughs> to another story then what? battle you cannot your sense of battle, meaning the clanging has not been made from fighting. Oh. Mm. I don't like when, uh, I don't like the feeling I get whenever um, I'm playing D&D &D and the DM says we can't do something that we normally could do because that means trouble. So like when the poo going, oh bother. So we got the lights are at, the lights on are magical, the there's necromancy in this room. Oh. Uh, uh higher, oh. above you. Odicon is actually above me. Oh, um, shit. Technically speaking, if you want if you want to play it that, about ten feet to behind you and above. So if my math is correct, we're looking at about yeah. Bing, bing, bing. Above me? So what Above. room am I in? Did I climb the rope and I'm upstairs with them? or? Yeah, you. if you climb that rope, you go upstairs with them. Where's the rope? There it, there is. it is. You start climbing up, you see Fane assisting this ghostly woman with picking up the sword, and as she does, she once more seems to gasp. <sighs> Who are you? What do you want? My name is uh, My name is Fane. I was just helping you pick up your sword. You seem to be struggling. Yes. Sir, sir. Thank you. And Who are you? I I'm I'm Gentita. 
It's nice to meet you, Gentita. Um, I have me and my party here exploring this tower. Uh-huh. Uh, would I know that the Silver Nest, the elf, said that this tower was giving off a foul energy? Uh, no one's told you that, so I would go ahead and say no. Okay. I'm going to call one of the party members over to explain w exactly why we're exploring this tower, if they're not afraid of this lady. Oh, well. I didn't need her. I died downstairs. Mm -hmm. uh, there was something interacting with me here. I don't know what it is, but uh, it, it piqued my curiosity, and I felt some heartstrings for the this poor woman who's been stuck here. Uh, we wanted to see what we could do to help, and maybe figure out what's linking this building. How can we free you, Gentida? I forgot to do the, uh, I forgot to do the, the teleporters to take you up the stairs, which was smart of me. Uh, just gonna watch as she looks. I don't know. Shit. Yeah. I'm here and something is making me. Angry. Okay. Looking mm. for my sister. I don't know how we got here. But I've been pulled higher to this place. And whatever it is, is trouble. I must will you, fight it. Will you guide us? Is on the top level, just by there, and points towards here, opposite end of the big crushed canyony area, where you can see a set of stairs that start to lead up. If you find what's causing this and I will be happy but I don't feel safe going towards it without something defend myself mm -hmm. can't really pick up her sword well it seems we have our work cut out for us what uh what what is her sword exactly? Long sword, short sword? It looks like a long sword. Okay. Um magical also? Did you already tell me that? You can actually feel magic coming from it, yes. An evocation magic. I was gonna <laughs> I was going to tell her whatever killed you here. I wanted to take revenge and kill it with your sword. <laughs> um, but she said she wanted something protect to protect her uh, self with, so she can borrow my short sword for now. Is that okay with her? And she tries to take the sword. You're gonna watch as even that seems almost too heavy for her. So okay. like she's um, like not trained. As any type of warrior, she's very much a almost political emissary. How about darts? What was she doing here? Is this where she died? I was 
need to rest here, I think. I don't know, this is a house of the dead for my kind. But I do not recall dying. Have you seen my sister, Tanadra? She vanished from my delegation. If I we have no, if we have no, we'll send her back down to you. So what I think, John? So if we haven't seen your sister, you tell us where you were heading. We can try to find what her or her remains. I was <laughs> there was a guard to the Istarian city of Banyari, guarding the. Delegation of elves. Now I'm here. Angry. I don't know why. You say what's making you angry is located higher in this tower? Yeah. You're detect magic. Stella. Can detect a large, large. Tr I want to say transmutation, but I do not believe it to be transmutation. Evocation, conjuration, I would say. A bit of both. Let's say evocation and conjuration magic. A large stretch of it across here, but. Up again. Mm. No. Oh, of course it's white. Right? Uh, yeah, it's white. Why the fuck is that white? <laughs> Couldn't have picked a worse color if it tried. Ah, oh, that's why I don't use this one. Bang, bang, bang. Nope. Wrong. Can't. Can't. Get that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Is she holds her sword looking or tries rather. I offer her darts instead, so we will that light enough. I sorry I am looking for my sister and I'm refusing to go up there until I find her. Go. You can take the uh -huh. sword if you wish. But if my sister is up there, and if she is dead, then please avenge her for me. I promise you I will. Anyone take the long sword? I must ask. Oh, I was oh. gonna take it. I can. Like, that was up there. Well, you can have it if you want to, Renard. Oh. oh. I'm not talking about oh. this. Another long I'm sword? Not <laughs> <laughs> I was not gonna question me. Yeah, um, yeah. I'll, I'm, I'll, I can use a new long sword. Is, is it special in any kind of way? That is magical, though. It is, has a magic about it. Very. Oh, yeah. Uh, Symbolic gesture, though, I mean... You have here a very, very rare-looking sword. As you look upon it, you do see that it has the word written in the elven script. Dance. For as you feel this weapon, you can feel the magic pulsating from it, but you can tell that it is a, an attunable magic. It for your All right. I will humbly accept. It is a 
dancing longsword. Oh shit! <laughs> You're just doing yourself at a magical item, Renard. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. That was Renard's. <laughs> well, he's the cloak of protection, but he also has like ten long swords. I got two long swords, and I don't need another. <laughs> man goes out. Oh shit! Combat. Yeah. Man goes into combat. Oh, and magic, the bag. magic item. Who wants it? Hey, anybody else want a magic <laughs> item? Magic items all around. <laughs> I Fuck yeah! Break your chin and from there you'll have to chin on a long rest. However, uh, for yourself, you can use your bonus action to toss this magic sword into the air, speaking its command word. When you do so, it begins to hover and flies up to 30 foot and attacks any creature of your choice within 5 foot of it. It uses your attack roll and ability modifier scrolls. Scrolls? Rolls. When the sword hovers, you can use a bonus action to make it fly up to 30 foot to another spot within that you can see it's part of the same bonus action you can cause the sword to make one attack within a creature within five foot of it this is just very buffed very buffed ah this is actually roughly equivalent spiritual weapon to be honest after the hovering yeah, sword spiritual weapon. after the hovering sword attacks for the fourth time it flies up to 30 foot and tries to return to your hand if you have no free hand it falls to the ground at your feet if the sword has no unobstructed path to you, it moves as close to you as it can and then falls to the ground. It also ceases to hover if you grasp it. It's a fucking nutty So That's the first time I've, I'd seen it and I'd never read it. That is... I was going to have like his boots fucking filled now. Spiritual weapon to the left, dancing long right. to the right. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. Alright. Let's see. Ghostly apparition thanks you with the almost permanent scowl on her face. And you feel the magic above. Right, you can feel it swells a little every so often as a almost pulsated swell. Mm. Well, let's go find out what's going on upstairs. Mm-hmm. Start walking. Do you want me to move your token for you, uh, RJ? Oh, yes, please. I'm sorry. Somebody I'm, help. I'm coming back to the game now. Hurry up, guys. Come up here. This looks like the boss room. As, <laughs> as you enter this yeah, room here. Boss here. Shit. I believe that's I need a tour. I actually think this room should have some sconces if it does give me a little second, I'll tell you right now. Uh, I don't get anything. Mm -hmm. as, soon, as soon as I walked in, I heard the Dark Souls theme. Done. Ah, good news everyone. There is light. Uh, Bad news, news everyone. Bad news. It's a sickly green light, so give me a little second there. Oh. I remember when you do the, the Futurama, the Hinesworth thing, the good news, everyone! <laughs> Wasn't Futurama supposed it's to be back. coming back this month? Yeah, yeah it, it just, it, the first one just dropped on the Hulu, uh, like yesterday. That's getting watched tonight. But yeah. Yeah, season premiere, I believe. As you enter, the door opens into a room that hovers in a starless night sky. The floor mm. is stable. Shattered wall fragments float in the air. Their sconces emit a faint, sickly green light. Beyond the broken walls lies this endless expanse. Across the platform stands a stone archway, sculpted with sharp runes. And the... Careful now, I don't know if I've turned that portal on or off. <laughs> Across the back platform stands a stone archway sculpted with ruins and the head of five dragons. Within the arch dwells a. Oh, I don't like dense, that at all. A dense grey mist. Uh -huh. Wait, how do I get out of here? Oh, that's that's most de that's that's most definitely one to one 
Dark Souls boss gate. RJ, you're up here. Oh, sure Guys, up this is Dark Souls boss gate. You have to traverse the maze. Can't see anything. <laughs> you have to traverse the maze. I'm ready to traverse the mist. Stop! Do I light a torch? No, there's there, there's light. I've turned on the light. You can see. I I can't move. Okay, now I'm in where I, I'm. I'm where I'm supposed. Now I'm where I'm supposed. Now I'm where I'm supposed to be. To look. Oh. Uh, that's... I'm not shooting in the dark, right? All of us have played Dark Souls, right? Yeah. Hey, Elden Ring. Yeah. The yeah, Elden Ring is pretty much the same thing. It's uh. It's so you have to traverse the mist whenever you first find the bar. So, uh, you just all get a nice arcana check if you wish. Just if you wish. Yes, please, yes, please, arcana. Thank you. That 20, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so, uh, the DC was 14, which is good. Ooh. Exodus got it as well, which is just absolutely oh, fucking on. convenient. Hold on. Did you oh. look? You're yeah. Bernard rolled a <laughs> seven did. two times in a row. Did you look? The sculpted dragon heads, you can tell, are those of green dragons. The runes <laughs> relate to the natural energy of the Feywild. You notice that these runes can rotate, likely as a means of controlling the portals, but you can't be too sure. Well, uh, know what it's about, Exodus? Speak now or forever hold your peace. These dials here, I think they can send us to other planes of existence. Mm. I'm really tempted to just spin it and see what happens. Uh, uh it's... Well, there's that, or, um, is this a staircase up over here, or is this the staircase we entered? Staircase we entered, that's the staircase down. You are on the top level. You can feel the light breeze of the wind, and you can tell that you are outside. But as you look around, it is okay. Hmm? I'm hearing this really weird noise. I hear it too. Yeah, it's a, like a breeze. Your camera's shaking too. Is there? Are you going to a tornado? No, my camera is shaking because of stabilization and because it sits on top of my computer. No, it was I, I heard it coming through, and I, my P, it was I was hearing it on my PC because even the recording peaked up a bit. Oh no, Revo left. I'm gonna have to RP more. Fuck. Oh no. <laughs> I think it was uh, potentially Revel. Yeah. Revel. Welcome back. Rebel's gone. Only Fane. <laughs> oh, right. The name. Change your name back. Piece of shit. Oh, I would change my name back. How dare you tell me to do that? <laughs> Rebel be gone. Rebel's in Faerun now. But they are. So you look upon this. What do you 195 do? 195 PHP. No, I'm going to put it down back onto it. Yeah, uh, what do you do there, my friend? Whoa. I'm going to try to I think we roll dice. I mean, we, we does anyone have dice? No. I have dice. Uh, right here. Have dice? Yeah. Whoever gets the lowest goes in first. Metal, okay. di metal dice? Okay. Um, Roll it. Wait, 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 wait. Why am I doing this? I don't want to go in first. No, no. We roll the dice. Whoever has the lowest goes in first, and they don't come back within five minutes to tell us it's safe. We leave. Party members. Party Sh members. Shouldn't the rogue do that? No. I mean, no. yeah. I mean, I have I have a picture to prove it. Oh, hold on, hold on, right now. Ooh, he should not. Like, we should not do this. This is. I was like, the lowest, the lowest doesn't do oh. this. Oh, 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 Renard. Oh, 
Clifton. Get them rolls in. Huh? Hold on. They're rolling to see who goes through the portal. Lowest roll goes through first. Are yeah, I know. You're saying? Saying? I'm not kidding about that. I'm, I'm fucking terrified. Clifton, you're, you're doing your one. Clifton, you're doing one. Clifton, come on, Clifton. Can anyone beat a one? Did you roll a one? Me and Exodus have to roll again, though. Look in the chat. I don't see a one in chat. I don't. I don't, I don't see it either. Yeah, I don't. We don't see. You gotta roll it again. Oh, oh wait, no. Okay. Other, oh, he he rolled IRL. Yeah, Exodus, oh. Exodus asked yeah. if we had dice. I was asking in character if we had dice. Oh, my bad. What's up? Oh, uh, well. <laughs> oh boy. All right, time to go in. I got playing cards. We can draw for our last card. Where's the portal? Is it here? No, it's here. Oh, he's really, he's really nice. playing up that blind man act. <laughs> you're, you're the, you're the cleric. You, you know, your god loves you so much, and I need glasses. Survived. Like, where you just, are we? Like, in the, you, you just revived two people, and how good you are in combat. I, you know, you woke up today as a better cleric. I think you should go through the portal as a better cleric. But like, I don't think you want to like, stress a good thing. If somebody in there, just scream as loud as you can, okay? We'll totally hear you. And run okay. back through. Yep. Clifton, as you appear oh, off, you enter this odd expanse. You find the hell is that? at the top a broken tower of jet black stone standing in a barren, unfamiliar landscape. Jagged peaks of colourless rock stretch for miles and the wind howls mournfully. Faint light shines from an identical version of the stone archway you just passed through. As you look, you... You're in an odd place. Even the light... Even the light is grey. Am I just in that fucking cave where Voldemort kept his ring? Do you look a ghostly spirit appears. Elvin. Hello. And who might you be? Oh, um I am a curious traveler. I mean no harm. How are you? Dead. And, and who are you? <laughs> oh, you're, you're, you're dead. I am very ill, the caretaker of this uh, facility. It's a long story. Do you have time? I suppose so. So, in addition to being a mausoleum of peace between Sylvanesti and Istar, the Tower of Walkenreath served as a crypt for the elves who lived in Onyari through... Though, it saw little use before the city's destruction, when it began its slow fall across the skies. Well, it ended up here, a broken monolith from... Its foundations, toppling forward to the ground, far from its rest in the city, and eventually crashing. As it fell, I invoked the tower's magics, hoping to transport us to a wild and magic place. Out of character, this wild and magic place is the Fey Wild. I just don't know if it's got another name here. So yeah, wild and magical place, Fey Wild. <laughs> it, however, has not worked. It helped us survive, but it is now corrupt and in perpetual dissolution. Could you do me a favor? Please. 
Sure, uh, it depends on what the favor is, and if it's within my power, but, um, you know, so throw, throw it at me. Sever this connection. Please. So, go back through that portal and just, uh, break it. There is a beast. I can't oh. pass through to do what I have to do. I'm linked here forever. But a beast I call Ankalox must be destroyed. It wishes to take this place and feed from its demise of all wandering souls. So if I close this place off to it, that'll at least give you some safety, and then from there, if it decides to seek retribution for whoever destroyed that, uh, the, well, that portal right there, we have to, you know, make, make quick work of it. Am I hearing that right? It must be destroyed, yes. However, it wishes to take this place. I wish for it to be destroyed, and the link between here and the material be gone. Well, that sounds like something I might be able to do. As you speak, you feel this rumble. You hear this. As you watch as the ghost's face seems to shift and change and it does watch the door this side of the building just out as it does you hear this yeah no Whoa. and that's where we'll end the session god damn you <laughs> it went like straight for the portal and it went paused oh yeah oh yeah I saw. Looks like we're gonna have to fight that when we get back. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, uh, just a 